Hello everyone and welcome to Chat with Nene Alice. If this is your first time tuning in to Chat with Nene Alice, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to send in your comments because you know, together we can all improve on this channel. Well viewers, today I have with me Josephine Marion Samba and Josephine is a student in development and economics at uh, Unim Tech but at the same time she is also working for the Mental Health Coalition in Sierra Leone and she has had a wealth of experience working in that field and um, I met her in one of our meetings and I enjoyed the way she was able to pass on the message and she was so eloquent so I decided to bring her on board so that we can get a chat around mental health and well-being for women. So today our conversation will be based on mental health and well-being. And so I want to welcome Josephine to this channel. And Josephine, can you just say hello to viewers? Hello. How are you doing? Um, I'm so pleased to be with you here and I'm honored to be among those fights to empower women and also to educate them on the mental health and their mental well-being. Okay, so thank you, Josephine. And so we want to start the conversation. So Josephine, the first question where I will ask you, what's in our mental health? Mental health varies on we different understanding, but what in WHO say, mental health now some material for dealing with mental well-being, with emotional stress, and not they are, you know they talk about say you going for deal with normal coping mechanism like how you able for deal with normal stresses of life how you able for deal with your emotion so mental health in a nutshell they deal with the psychology of the human being they deal with how the brain they function i can just put them in that way say that now it's in mental health mean to me so mental health gets any relationship with we well-being Mental health gets a lot of relationship with well-being. Even as if you find out from what I say earlier on, I get for dealing with how we how we deal with stress and the normal well-being, the normal coping mechanism. So mental health gets a lot of things we get for deal with we mental well-being, and even the individual herself, depending on how and the point at which the person stand. Okay. He say he get for deal with you, Seth, and the point at which you stand at that at that particular moment. Mm -hmm. So when you talk that the point at which you stand at that particular moment, what do you mean by that? Well, people with the um, emotional well being or with their well being, they view them from a different perspective and different angle. So you go tend for respect on how they believe and how they base. So man go tell you say mental health not get nothing for doing it, deal with a mental well within well being because mental health they deal with according to what they say case which we want for differ from say it can affect anybody at any point in time. So when I talk about your mental well being, you can be an adult, you can be a wife, you can be a single mother, you can even be a teenager or even a school going people. And that tend how you able for cope with your mental well being, like how you able for cope with normal stresses of life, that they will foretell you how you well being surrounded. Okay. So the other thing I want to ask you. So me now as a woman, how I can able for this kind of alien will be there? How you feel say I can able for manage my mental health and me me, me well being? Uh, that's that's a very good one if you always they see and emphasize on the self because we believe the self-care are the first step of it in this normal stress the hustle and bustle of free town how you as a woman a wife and a mother they will for deal with you mental health depending on how you view yourself at least you get for honest you get for like honest first to yourself when you need rest you get for be honest when you need for talk with people and you get to understand what in the situation where you surround yourself with what are your problems like is it the school fee or is it i'm having a naggy kid or is it work that stress me up that i can't take care of the home properly or maybe you too torment on the way how things they go in at the country maybe the economic crisis you get for no force waiting to disturb me how i 
I go turn for take an idea of how I go for lean to somebody and talk to that person as a mother and as a wife. You can seek talk for me husband, or you can even call you begin them and like talk with them first. Say, and they go through this. I need una help because I think say we are family and we can work this thing together. Like maybe you begin and can be a best coming for you. Sometimes one parent go say, Mom, okay, we go see how we go for work this thing out. Then they are start the first step. How you able for take care of your mental well being? If it's something we got for deal with the country as a whole. As a good citizen, you go see how you will get a channel, like how you will channel your complaint, and how you will get a positive mindset to the way things happen. Like the increment of fear and price control. If I can say it's a bit buzzing, but you get for accept. This is the thing where you get for accept. There are things I can't take control over everything. And as the, day go, as the days go by, I just get for accept one step at a time. So if we don't accept all that in India, then I think you get a positive well-being. As a student for me, I can just say, can, it, sometimes it can be a bit stressful, work, school, study. Mm -hmm. But in the first place, how I do my own, I tend to understand, say, this is what I want for myself. I want to be a goal getter and I get for sacrifice more of my leisure time. So I focus, say, okay, I have to go for work. I get for go for school, all you do is plan your day well. Although there are times things cannot can materialize how it be, when you come back home, you evaluate yourself. Maybe in, a, in along the way, you will know what are the things that went wrong on that day will affect your well being a little bit, and the, the other day you can improve. Okay. Uh, me and this style, you know, I'm a woman, we come on a culture where, say, I for mind me business. You know, I for keep me information there to me safe. Because if I go begin to talk um, people then go take them against me, then go use it against me. And you don't talk say um where you get something where they mona you, find somebody where you go talk and to. You feel to say, but could people then the way they think I like me when I for that they make could they get so many increase in people the way they get mental disturbance. This is Africa and Sierra Leone is part of the continent. And from the forefathers, we don't inherit this culture of all is well, even with a downcasted face, you say all is well. Get somebody where you talk to doesn't mean you talk to everybody. If I can remember, there is a proverb where we say a problem shared is a problem half solved. But as the century they go and things they change, people can tend to misunderstand and say, a problem shared is a problem discussed. That's why I say when you talk, when you defend somebody for talk to, you get for know how confidential the person did. It can be your husband, it can be your children, it can be your boss, it can be a very good friend. You get for know first how upright the person did. Say so, okay, if I talk to this person, one they will forgive me a positive advice, and this person will be true to me. Because you don't need that person where you go talk to with your problem and it give you what thing you want for your head. That not help you mental health and really help you well being. I got for tell you say this is what thing they affect you and this and this is how you should go about it. Like for example, a young woman like me, I'm going to school, um, I did work, then a relationship coming. I can take that for an example. Maybe the relationship wants to give me a bit of a problem or it wants to sweep me away. I need somebody for talk to because this gets for deal with my mental health. An emotion don't come into play. And me work they at stake and me education they at stake. Who can I talk to? We get a lot of young people around within college, within work, but you can't talk to everybody. I can find somebody where I trust. Somebody when I know when I talk with you. My problem not will only be shared, but you will be honest enough for show me a way out. And my secret will be safe with you. Except I tell you, say, okay, I will only use my story for do a documentary. Or I will only use my story for advice another person. These are the people we are talking about. Not to like anybody. Okay, so just if you don't tell me, say, where you they go to a crisis, where they embark your mental health and your well-being. You say you offend somebody where you... Able for confiding, and as they confide in you, 
you for able for keep that boss in a secret. Secret because of the kind society we did. We get for friend them people then they for talk to. Because most of the time we can like they can say a problem shared is a problem I've solved. And not me say whether you share where I share a problem with you, you for go discuss them. And all that they they help for affect with mental well being. Okay. But most of the time, uh, Josephine, people they, they, they go, they, they talk no more. I'm here, stress. I stress. What's in a stress? <laughs> what is stress? Huh? Stress is something we're very hard to define. And we get two types of stress, what we call the negative and the positive stress. Like what they happen in a salon, we are all stressed with it. <laughs> yes, <That's, yes. laughs> that we call them the positive stress. Because in any kind of way, you can't say, I will end my life or I, I'm going to quit because this is not working. Because I believe say, if you left salon and go other side, you will meet the economy and global crisis more worse than that. We get the other stress, we get to deal with the medical condition side. I will talk a little bit, I don't will talk much because I'm not a nurse. As you know me professional, I want to become an economist. I want to mm -hmm. throw it small money at twenty. But stress really na accumulation of something. Like how I go put stress in my own word. Um it's something where you study. Stress na something where you na an accumulated thing where you together. Like you study yourself na money like I can put them to the little man understand you for we mama them and we husband and us. When you get something when you get too much anxious over, but you don't know what's not the cause, what make you get so anxious to the extent it gets you worried. Mm -hmm. You get too much angry, you will like it put you in a mood swing. Mm -hmm. You will be you will be this high, the next moment you will be sad, the next moment you will be all around. Yourself within yourself, you don't know what you need go through this is what like what we call stairs mm. so now an accumulation of few things where you know able for tell really but it's an emotion you really feel somebody can just like say i don't know what happened i wake this morning that stairs i don't know maybe not because of what they can feed or maybe this price control the feel or maybe now work stress i, I don't really know what's happened but i'm somehow torment and with this with the accent you also need for be honest to yourself that's not one thing. You get for accept say something they bother me. And it tell on the health. Because this mental health, all they talk about, it get for deal with the whole thing of your health. As we can say, when you get a healthy mind, the whole body healthy. Mm -hmm. You get for be honest with yourself, say, I know well, but you don't need for diagnosis. You say, like, you keep up now when you say, I feel my bone in the heart. It might be my leg, I have to speak to So now like this, when you don't observe yourself for one, two days, you think, say, you're still there in this case. You for accept it, you say, say something is wrong, mm -hmm. and I need if you need for take a day off, mm -hmm. take a day off, rest, evaluate, put in now this cause will make you distress. And if you need for find a way out, go to a nurse or go to somebody, talk to a pastor, an imam, um, talk to anybody, a close friend, people where we're matured in life, just talk anything. You might not know what in actually not the problem, but just talk. Maybe for more they talk, somebody will pick out say, this is what is going on. How can we handle this? And you can see say with the time, you will get a little bit of relief. That they go for reading mama then. And even with the school picking them. Maybe you they go to school, maybe you get something like a great problem. Maybe you get a teacher where they unbug you. Maybe you get a student where they unbug you. Or like teenagers, especially when only this SS level, you will get one boy and the way they unbug you. You get your education with the unborn, you mama they expect too much of you. And you get for face life within yourself of a goal. Like what in the tell you of life, then go the road in it. When they come up, you they see a different thing of life. You they get stressed up. You don't know you don't know which trend are for past. You don't know what in for do. So you get we get for be honest with yourself. And come to your mama, okay, come to your papa, or come to anybody and talk, say, I they go through this. Can you help me? I don't know what they go through. Mm. Because I they tell you, if we not able for open out and talk, mm. then we start for keep this thing. And they begin to tell you that that's for example, we get few people waiting into drugs, few people will get a misguided future. Mm -hmm. 
Someone can just say, you know, well, no meant for me, but all this they have because of stairs. Mm -hmm. Then the positive stairs, how I can say, you just get to accept them. We make my money, we meet this. Just say, God, I tell you, thank you. At least we hope for the better. Thank you so much, Josephine. You don't, you don't, you don't talk a lot. We, we myself don't learn from today. And viewers, the thing where Josephine tell me, he says stress na an accumulation of anxiety, and it abog you both in a positive way or in a negative way. And like this guy where we all in a salon, COVID, and all waiting they go on, the dying news the way they come. We they get we they get so much anxieties and where they lead to stress and where they involve with well being where they make we're not able for be a stable and as he say a healthy mind leads to a healthy body so I want to follow we listen to Danny but as we they conclude any for stay kids there for mental health or for or, <laughs> or for for stress any for stay kids there <laughs> from my own perspective. Yes, from the world perspective, no. Why I say there is a first aid kit? From the starting and on to the end, now you safe. The first aid kit to stairs or the first aid kit to your mental well being, it depends on you, the individual. Why I say you, the individual? Because as they always let for give an example to myself, I'm a young girl and I don't go through a lot. You can wake in the morning expecting all is well and you get a new say, you lost your money. People will come, they go say sorry, how you do, but within yourself, now you know how you they feel. Within yourself, now you know what in your mommy they do, or what in your daddy they do, or this person where you lost, now you know the space. Now you want them to get for feel. After feeling out, everybody can go. Why I use this scenario? When you be honest with yourself, on that day, people will come around you, they will sympathize with you, they will talk, you will cry, and everybody can go. It left to yourself to say, okay, this not to the end in tunnel for me. This not to also in my life will end. I have to pick myself up. Like I get for more from this point. At least the investment with me, people and me should not go in vain. You might get a lot of pulling down syndrome. It's a lot. Maybe you expect much from family, you expect much from friends, they can't give it to you. And you get for sit back. Whenever life push you, you get for sit back. Be a prayerful person. Evaluate. I always talk so when you evaluate life, you can be a best you can be a best goal setter for yourself. Evaluate your life and you push. Then be always be honest to yourself. I can't get everything at a point in time. I need for set me goals and priority right. And when thing happen to you, whatever thing you go through, me for me, what I can normally do, I get a very good friend. Mm -hmm. She's like a very good friend of mine, Abigail. If if you wanna go through a little bit of stress, I can call her. Abigail, I this how I go. Waiting, you can just let me go. You you are this woman. Believe in yourself. You can go. Nobody's an island. Mm -hmm. So the first aid key of your mental well being and your mental health depend on yourself. Only if you're sincere enough, you ask genuinely for help and you accept the help. Because some people like, can come to you and they ask you for help, you talk. Then when they go, ah, this time we're all team fine for them. Then make it talk to them. I will do me. Oh, yes, it's fine. Because they say the man, best servant is the man himself. But be honest, be genuine. Ask for help where you think say, it's necessary. And live a healthy life. Do exercise. Go for medical check, but not to pass you sick. Not to pass you sick before you go to hospital. You go, go regularly for medical check or take time, relax. Just take time if it's a movie, anything where they care about your mental well being. And stress is a part of who we can't walk out of stress. But when you get something we want for overcome you, just let it go. You know what it is, you know what you miss. Okay, thank you so much. And Joseph, you don't tell me say certain things that they don't know even worth with peace. No. Certain people that they don't know even worth with life. So we get for try for manage with stress level, manage with mental health, and manage with well being, so that we will be able for for you know for live a good life and enjoy all the goodness 
become we go with time and become a productive Sierra Leonean. So thank you so much, Josephine, for the time where you don't spend for talk to me. And for viewers, if this is your first time tuning in to chat with Nene Alice, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to send in your comments because together we can all improve on this channel. And I also want to let you know that you can hit the bell button so that you'll be the first person to do whenever I post any new video. Thank you and have a pleasant day.